to finish. You know, and, and you finish football games last year, you are 10 and 2 and potentially go into a big bowl. This year, 8 0. And, you know, not only have they won uh, eight games, they've won 11 of their last 12. I and mean, they're a good football team, and, and they're playing very sound, fundamentally sound football, and, and people really respect them. Kicking off, Adi Kunalik gave. Six foot 175 pounder out of Fort Worth, Texas. Herford and McAnderson are deep, and this one will be downed. And Marisi rolling out and incomplete. Just off the finger possession, trying to take advantage of a short field after the block pump. The pitch out. Halu has the first down. He gets in the quarterback Gans to throw it on first down. And he does complete it. And Nebraska fumbles the football, but he was down near the 20 yard line. The receiver, Franz Hardy, a senior out of Miami. Gans. Out of the gun this time. Gans his first start this season. And it is complete inside the five yard line, and Nebraska knocking on the. Gans to throw it again. Got time now. He'll keep the football. And Gans dives in for the opening touchdown, Nebraska. That's what I talked about with Gans, creating plays with his feet, creating an extent athleticism out of a quarterback. Alex Henry, the kicker, hasn't missed this season and is still perfect. 29. They want that to continue in the turnover department. Second and seven. Reesing fires it to McAnderson. Breaks the tackle and more. 50. Cuts it back. To inside the 30-yard line. Brand, your part his best receiving yardage was 38. And this time 41 on the reception. The pitch back to Reese. Flicker. And it is complete inside the 15-yard line as Briscoe makes the grab. Meyer. 10 receptions on the year. Reese got him. Got Meyer and a touchdown, Kansas. They answer. They did. He, Meyer in the slot, ran a little post. Big answer. Kerry Meyer with the team. 6'3, 220 overpowers people for the touchdown. And 3.9 per game in total yardage. Wow. Somebody forgot Lucky. He's at the 50, the 40, a foot race. Lucky will score as he stays in back. And Nebraska gets another six. Yeah, that, that breaks Johnny Rogers' record set in 1972. His 56 catch. Go a brain cram. Big mistake in coverage for Kansas. Lucky's wide open. And the kick is good. Nate throughout the afternoon. Henry, one of the wideouts, is reesing, tossing, looking, got him, and Henry makes the reception. Boy, what a nice touch pass. He said, guys, you know what, sometimes you just got to be a little lucky. He's got a good lucky, and he has had some good luck today as well. Here's the end around, and Henry, he may score, bumped out of bounds near the one-yard line. Boy. And the pitch. Easy. Touchdown, Kansas, as McAnderson strolls into the end zone. He gets his 10th rushing touchdown of the season, and KU comes right back. Honestly, but boy, this has been an entertaining game. Webb with a point after attempt. It is good. Mission, who's going to come? Because they all could. Third and 10. Nebraska purified the intended receiver, and Nebraska will have to punt it for the Sharp, they fake it to him. Reese tosses it and complete and a first down across the 50. And he blew up fields. Second 11 for Reese and crew as he rolls out. Throws it downfield and right on the spot. I'll tell you what. Five. And Dexton Fields picks up 25 yards on that reception. Another first down. This time they're going for six and they got it. Sharp in the end zone. Touchdown, Jayhawks. With a minute to go in the first quarter, Kansas is on the board again. McAnderson, a nice Sharp is a track athlete in high school. That's a mismatch. Kansas capitalized. And the Gans, four of ten for 90 plus yards. And this one dropped across the middle. Wide open receiver. Third and ten at the 43. They come after him. He's got a man, and it is complete. 
And that will move the chains as once again, 14 looking for more after being down and trading scores. They lead it by seven. Greasing runs right through the defense and he's got a first down as Octavian makes catch. It's what helped Reeson get this job when he came on last year when Meyer had gotten hurt. And now McAnderson, another TD for Kansas as Brandon McAnderson takes in his second score of the day. Yep. Busy man here in the early going. Going for his fourth PAT of the day, and it is good as well. All right, Coach Self, we do appreciate it. Guys, Kansas A football and basketball school right now. There you go, Emily. Yeah, thanks so much, Emily. Best of luck to oh, Paul Self. Wow. Right across the slam, Purify trying to stay on his feet, and Purify stumbles, but not until he gets to the 20-yard line. They're going for six in the end zone, and it is caught, and a touchdown Purify. Gans, a beautiful pass to lead, beaten on the play, and Purify gets his fourth TD of the... Here comes Henry for the PAT, and Alex Henry takes care of that. Balance, as always, in that Kansas offense. Meyer, the receiver here on this first down play, got a nice block, and picks up some pretty good yardage as he gets across the 45 near mid. Oh in competition against the South. Missouri's big game tonight against Colorado on FSN later wow. on. Here's Henry, and he takes it down to the five-yard line. Oh, mama. What about the of offense with 8.34 to go in the half, and another touchdown. <laughs> Reesing throws a bullet and fields on the receiving end this time. Or Henry, I beg your pardon, Henry. And Scott Webb for the PAT, and it's 35 to 21. Gant across the middle, nearly picked off by Talib, intended for 10 now for Kansas at the 38. And McAnderson toting it out near midfield, stopped at the 49-yard line. No interceptions. Third and less than a yard, and if Reesing keeps and forges ahead down to the third this season, they didn't even know if Reesing would start, leave alone have a chance to be a national award winner. He finds Meyer, 30-25, danced uh, on the bound. Meyer and Briscoe to the left, they hand it off to McAnderson, a truck could have made it through that time. What a line explosion, a per play on offense. And the pitch to McAnderson, the five, and knocked out of bounds around the three-yard line. They're not worried about style here. They don't, and they forge it in as Texas or the McAnderson takes it in, and that is his third TD, and it's now 41-21. The Nebraska defenses of the past. I mean, Kansas is locking on them like they have Velcro on their hands. And the kick. Is good by. He's got one long TD reception here today. Pick it. Deflected and it is intercepted. There's that turnover. John Larson, the 250 pound senior. Larson comes up with a pick and with 211. To... Getting ready for that Big 12 North contest. Here is Reason to throw it and complete to Briscoe. Skips a tackler. He scores. Wow. Kansas another TD. Boy, he made Tyler Wartman miss. And when Tyler Wartman missed in space, he was gone to the house. Desmond Brist and Kansas was still 116 to go in the first half. Webb had hit the upright. No good. Possession set the Jayhawks. Unbelievable. It's not so. First and ten. Gans delivers across midfield, and it is complete and hit hard near the 40-yard line is purified. The Cornhusker. Yeah, they were struggling when they were somewhat healthy, and now they are in huge trouble. Right down the middle, Peterson, and he takes it inside the 20, so Nebraska. And he play on both, both ends of it. 35 yards on the play, across the middle again, and a nice pitching catch there as to Lucky. Out of bounds with 16 seconds. Henry was six of six. Sets up here at the 12 for a 22 yarder, and it is good. So, Patriot, or his counterpart, I should say, Reesing in their offense at Kansas. Third and 17, and Gans delivers a strike across the middle. It's only picked today, set up a KU easy score. 
And what a grab by Nate Swift on this pass. Guard games. And that's first and ten right here. Gantz keeping the football and KU. They've been giving up the last three games 346 yards a game on the ground. Here is Lucky out of the backfield. He breaks a tackle and takes it down inside the 15. Malone back with Gans there. They come after Gans. He fires and it is complete. Touchdown. Purify an absolute sensational grab. And Gans a gutsy throw because he got rocked. Yes, he did. Pass to Purify. His second score today. Henry on for the point after. And... It is good. So Nebraska saw Herford, the deep man, and he will get it about the eight-yard line. Up the middle, at the 30, got a little wall, 40, 50, and scampers out of bounds. This guy is absolutely amazing. He's been averaging 31 per return at four first-half receptions. Sharp and McAnderson both in the backfield now on a second and eight. McAnderson gets the carry and says, come along for the ride. Left guard. They have at the right guard position, Chet Hartley, a junior college guy. In so many phases, and they don't have any bad guys. No, they have good character guys, and they're coachable. Reesing in the end zone. Touchdown, Kansas. What a strike again for KU, and this one's Briscoe again. And Reesing now with five TD passes. You're talking about another newcomer. Briscoe is a freshman, a true freshman. Look, and, and Mark Mangino and staff has recruited those guys and developed them to good football players. And the kick is good. Showing blitz. And they come after it. Gans. Over the middle, picked off by KU. Stuckey to the 40. Makes lucky miss and is tackled inside the 25. Darrell Stuckey, a sophomore from Kansas City. Four wide outs for Reesing and crew. McAnderson stays in the block across the middle and it is complete down inside the five yard line as Dexton Fields with her. Reesing had many, made many wrong decisions today, that's for sure. What an afternoon he's having. And another one. TD pass. Kansas Briscoe gets his third score and Reesing a school record six touchdown pass today. Boy, it's like shooting fish in a barrel for Kansas today in the reception of the day, the true freshman. And 62 to 30 up already to match KU and shut them down. And well, speaking of shutting down, out. and loose one, and KU signaling they've got it. And Rivera and Holt were there. Let's see as they sort that pile out. Yes, Kansas ball. Stuckey, I believe, with the recovery. Well, that makes Nebraska minus. A McAnderson on a third and one. First down easy as he strolls down to the 11-yard line. Philip Dillard. All right, thank you, KU. Virgin to score again, do they? Yes. Getting in the end zone. Jake Sharp, another touchdown. You can't break away from this one. You'll miss something big. Jake Sharp gets another TD, and Kansas once again for his compatriot Sharp. Scott Webb with a PAT for a punt, and boy, boom, Kansas right down the field. You go back out in the field, and you're down by more points. Second and one, and across the middle, and it is complete. As the 50 yards, Martin Lucky six for 83 in a TD. This one picked off by KU. Mike Revere with the interception. So Kansas now that's four turned field. Sharp gets the carry. And another first down to the 45 practice. They're at 916 yards of offense here today. Sharp bumped hard and stopped at the with the quarterback Reesing. Blitzing is Nebraska. Reesing escapes it. And in another great catch by Briscoe. And that's a first down. Tough to deal with in Stillwater. Here is Reesing. Complete Briscoe now couldn't hang on. The other thing Oklahoma State's a different team is that one yard field goal attempt. Scott Webb, whose best is 48, and this was well short. And Nebraska will take over.
Back to the live action. Gans under pressure, throwing it. Nearly picked off. It is picked off. Another INT for the University of Kansas, Justin Thornton. And Thornton rumbles down to about the 37-yard line. As he was never sacked. He did extend plays and buy time with his feet, though. And McAnderson still on his feet. Goes out of bounds down near the five-yard. The point where you start to feel sorry for him. McAnderson, he ain't feeling sorry for him. Touchdown number four on the day for McAnderson. And can you say 75 points for Kansas? Eisenhart couldn't come up with the tackle. And what I'm amazed is many of their fans, as Webb hits this one, have remained. It's been six for Nebraska at the 34. And Gans completes this one. And down the sideline for eight for the Huskers. Gans with eight minutes to go flips it in the backfield and ball carrier across the 35 to the 30 and and it is third and two and they come to that right side where all those bodies are and Halu has got the first down and down near the Gans again looking for Purify and got him this time for a TD. Purify gets the touchdown, beating Harris on the play. And it's 70 in the left slot. Gans going right across the middle, and it is complete for the two-point conversion to Terrence. 910 to celebrate the unbeaten Jayhawks going 9-0. and And again, quickly running it. And that will be the final play of the game as Kansas, eight ranked in the AP, the coaches poll, the BCS, and unbeaten at 9-0. 5-0 in conference play. The Huskers fall to 4-6, and 1-5 in Big 12, and have lost five in a row. And yes, 9-0, here they come. The Jayhawks stay on top and the only unbeaten in Big 12. Bill Callahan, a rough go for the head coach of the Nebraska Cornhuskers as they fall to Mark Mangino's crew here today, 76 to 39. For Dave Lapham, Emily Jones, and our entire crew, Bill Lansing, so long from Lawrence, Kansas. Coming up later, the college football kickoff show. Then our college football Saturday triple header continues with number nine, Missouri at Colorado, followed by Washington State at Cal in the Pac-10. It's all on FSN College Football Saturday. Once again, our final, 76 to 39. Unbeaten Kansas rolls on over Nebraska. So long, everybody.